Hi, uh, greetings to each and every one of you. I trust that you are doing well. Uh, this will be probably the first video of the year, uh, 2023, and I want to also bless uh, and wish each and every one of you a blessed 2023. Now, uh, I, I know that many of you probably wondering what is going on uh, with the crypto market. Uh, where are we currently and where we are heading? Now, I just want to highlight a few things, especially if you are with JD100X, uh, masterclass. Uh, those of you are in the pro inner circle, uh, you know that uh, I continuously, you know, uh, periodically, regularly give you an update uh, of what I really see where the market is moving. And sometimes, right, we can see that at the moment, market is definitely moving sideways. Uh, we can see a quite a predictable range, but I believe a consolidation is taking place uh, and so on. But at, at this time, right, I need, I want to make sure that you are very, very careful, okay? Now, what, I, what, I, what I'm going to show you here is uh, a very significant insight, okay, so that you are, so that at least you know what to look, uh, look for, okay, what to look for um, at, at this moment, okay? You have to be very careful uh, of the situation and where the market is moving. Now, uh, what you are looking here, right? Basically, I have, uh, these are basically the halving, uh, 2016, 2020 halving, and also we have the upcoming 2024. This will be the uh, the next halving, right? So we, we have already gone through basically three halving. Uh, the upcoming will be the fourth halving, right? So please take note of that. Now, what I really interested to look at this, right? Because roughly at this moment, uh, most people, okay, most people are somewhere here, right? Let me just take this brush. So, so we are somewhere here, okay? Most people are somewhere here. And we are hearing a lot of contradict view that the market already bottom. And because the market is already bottom, so what is taking place now is that people are starting to buy, right? They're buying, they are buying, okay, at this moment and thinking that the market is actually uh, recovering. Now, uh, there is a danger uh, of making this decision uh, without uh, without even understanding, uh, especially, right? What I really want you to understand is to, to look at the previous, okay? To look at the previous um, timeline, okay? Timeline or period. How long does it take from the all-time high to all-time low? And from that on, uh, how much, when is the mark, when is basically... Uh, <clears throat> The all-time high and all-time low, you need to understand the time frame or you need to understand the total number of days. Now, in this manner, right, you, you might be able to predict where the market is going to move or the market has already bottomed. I think this is where the mistake is because most people, probably the those who are doing technical analysis, they are looking at, at the number of days and they are deciding based on the number of days but let me just show you uh, that number of days very very quickly so that you know exactly how to analyze later on uh, so that you can use some of these uh, statistical tools all right uh, to be able to analyze these are statistical tools okay I'm not, i don't call this as a technical analysis but these are statistical tools and these are basically just hypotheses okay there is nothing that is perfect so whatever studies that you are doing, please understand like, nothing is perfect, okay? There is no such thing as uh, because you are you have this kind of data and things are perfect. No, because we are trading in the real market. So you have to be very clear with that. Now, let me just uh, show you very quickly uh, how to look for that time frame. Uh, how to look for that time frame. Uh, and, and then, right, I'm going to show you roughly what is my... Uh, prediction okay now first thing first okay in order to be able to actually uh, look into the, the the period the number of days okay you you can use these tools over here all right over here right you can use these tools can you see that date date range so click that date range and what you need to do is that take the all-time high all right take the all-time high right somewhere here right all-time high sorry so take the all-time high right over here and go all the way okay all the way to all time low here all right all time low low here can you see that so this is the all time high all right all time high all time high and all time low before the halving can you see that before the halving so once you reach the all time low this is where we start to see the market is starting to ramp up and then we start to see the halving take place and then it takes us further into another all-time high. All right, now, 
how many days is this this is about 406 days so let's say this is about around 400 days from the all-time high all right all the way down here to the all-time low before the 2016 halving now let's do the same okay let's do the same uh, for 2018 right we had a whole time high here and now let's bring these things all the way down right, let me just do it again so bring these things all the way down here all right at the all-time low here now we can see right it is roughly around 357 days so you can see roughly right it is around 400 days around okay close to around 400 days 350 over days it's just the accuracy of you putting that cursor okay accuracy of that so let's say it is around 360 days so you can see now for the 2016 halving the all-time high to all-time low it took about 406 days and then for 2020 halving from the all-time high right to the all-time low it took about 357 days can you see that so that is roughly around a year right a year okay but the 2016 is about a year plus all right now let's let's look okay let's look over here now this is this is uh, this is where things are going to get exciting right because now we are going to basically look into the future but let's look into the all-time high so the all-time high was somewhere in november right 2021 so if i would take the all-time high in november let me just do that again and let me probably make these things a little bit bigger all right so if i would take the all-time high here can you see that and i go all the way down here at the current price okay at the current somewhere over here all right so we have the we have about 378 days all right 378 days guys okay so now this is this is so uh, crucial okay this number is so crucial now can you see why many of them thought okay many of them are thinking now that it is already bottom and they are now planning to buy up can you see that so this is this is where i believe that probably all right many many are deciding okay many of them are deciding based on the previous number of days okay or the period so based on the number of days so roughly right i would say that we are basically already at the at the uh at the already at the maturity or probably we are already at the at the prolonged stage where it is now time to buy so this is the reason why i would believe that many okay many youtubers or even many uh, analysts okay or the hedge fund and even uh, a lot of investors are now thinking that it is now time to actually go in now uh, i just want to uh, give you okay uh, some of my prediction here and i, I believe that uh, probably uh, a probability of what is really going to take place is this all right now i i i assume right i i i assume that we could probably see a short-term pump all right a short-term pump to around 22,000 or 23,000 range right 22 or 23,000 range now please understand we have a lot of resistance here we have a lot of resistance between 20,000 to around 23,000 and so on so i i expect bitcoin probably right if we could see um if we could see right we could probably see uh, a pump all right now this is going to be you have to be very careful here because this could basically uh, be a fake pump let me just uh let me just see if i can put up uh, uh this line over here so that you can actually see the horizontal over here right somewhere over here so that is around okay 22 23 000. let me just uh, put that line over here Can you see that so that is around okay around this this range over here okay this range over here all right this range over here so this is this is where i, I predict right probably we could see a, a a pump here but the danger is here is that we're going to basically probably see a fake pump all right a fake pump taking everybody up here all right a fake pump so this is where you have to be a uh, very very careful okay very very careful now with your decision because i believe this is going to be a fake pump all right and it's going to take everyone up here and people are going to start to buy 
and they're going to go up here and then we might okay we might now start to see a massive dump all the way down here to around 10,000 right to around 10,000 right, so we could see a massive dump all the way to 10,000 let me just put this number here because you know that I'm still I am still bearish at this moment although in the short time frame we can see some kind of a bullishness but I am still bearish okay I am still bearish over here so I'm expecting at least we should be able to reach that 10,000 range okay that 10,000 range before we can actually start to see uh, a movement upward now if you look at what is really happening right if you really go back and see please understand right we do not have when we had the, the period over here the 400 days and also the 300 days during the previous halving we do not have much of unprecedented uh, issues in the crypto market now if you look at the current stage right especially during this period 2021 to 2022 we had we had quite a number of unprecedented events for example we had the issue with luna we had the issue with celsius we had so many different uh, DeFi platforms that were actually collapsing and the biggest unprecedented event ever right is the ftx all right get liquidated and this is actually an unprecedented event and this is i believe the reason why we will see a prolong okay a prolong so you can even basically go to about 450 days or so so now roughly okay roughly uh, in my in my calculation or in my understanding we could probably see all right we could probably see somewhere february all right somewhere february the month of february 2023 we could we could actually see a dump all right we could actually see a dump let me just put this date over here we could probably see a dump let me make these things bigger so everyone can see this right so we could probably see a dump so now my prediction is that roughly around february all right or around february or let me just put this around february or early march early march all right we could see a dump taking place over here now and I predict, right, roughly, okay, somewhere in, in the month of, somewhere in the month of uh, 2023, in the month of, um, in the month of October, all right, somewhere in the month of October, let me just put over here, somewhere in the month of October 2023, all right, we could, we could see, all right, we could basically see Bitcoin, probably, all right, Bitcoin has a high potential of recovering around thirty thousand, all right, around thirty thousand dollars. All right, this is just my numbers. Okay, I'm not saying that this will happen, but I'm just giving you uh, roughly my prediction. What I've really looked forward over here. So Bitcoin going down to ten thousand in the month, somewhere around February to March, and then we could actually see a rally up. But this rally. I may not be a quick rally okay please take note it may not be a quick rally it will be a slow rally okay preparing towards the upcoming um the upcoming uh what to say the upcoming uh the upcoming uh the upcoming uh halving right the upcoming halving that is uh, going to take place somewhere uh in march okay so just take note uh, of this information okay i hope that this is uh uh, being helpful now these are some of these uh, information that are uh, i would say such a uh, forbidden information only okay only available here at jd 100x jd wealth, uh, wealth maker jd 100x where you are doing leverage trading with me so this is uh, this is where you are able to get this this kind of information and now this will prepare you okay so that i just want you to be very careful all right over here right i just want you to be very careful of this fake pump Right, because I worry that this is where most people thinking that our oh, market has already recovered so I can now go in and start to buy now I believe if you really want to go in don't go in all in all right you may not want to go in all in even if you want to sell you may not want to sell all but you may want to hold a sum of those a Bitcoin that you have and wait for the price to go up around around between probably 21 22 thousand and then you can actually start to sell all right that will be the point for you to sell and this will also be the point if you are trading uh, with me jd 100x that also will be a point for you to to actually to buy down 
buy down okay and get ready we we will definitely okay looking at the market situation there are there are few more things that is that is going to take place i believe that uh, we're going to see a lot of miners are starting to liquidate all right because they have to cover the operation costs a lot of these mining costs at this moment are below the price of bitcoin all right uh, the cost is actually much higher compared to the price of bitcoin a lot of these uh, miners uh, may not be able to sustain their operation so you can already start to see a lot of miners are actually mining companies are closing down all right these are the effect because they are not able to cover the operational cost now remember a lot of these miners are also taking up loans okay they are taking up loans from uh, getting some financing uh, from different entities and so on now the other thing is that please understand uh, we still have empty gox empty gox uh, liquidators are the weak teams okay are still waiting for their payout so this is why i believe i can roughly foresee february to march we could basically see now uh, uh the uh the the process of the empty gox now please understand all right if when empty gox starts to release this fund uh what do you think that these people has been waiting since 2000 and uh, eight right since 2008 for the past sorry for the past about eight years uh, seven to eight years they have been waiting do you think they're going to hold either bitcoin or usdt definitely i believe they're going to sell it all right they're going to just liquidate it because they need those monies all right so we have then we do have uh, ftx um uh, court case is going on a lot of liquidations are going to take place so please understand some of this important scenario that we are looking at and also we have the recession we have the inflationary uh, a lot of different things are going through uh, through the economic uh, uh, what to say a broader view right so this is an important insight and I hope uh, this information uh, really help okay really help you and those of you okay who are listening uh, to to this uh, information i hope that you have you find this information to be helpful and if you find this information helpful and you want to uh, be continuously be updated with such information make sure okay you subscribe to uh, my youtube channel jd wealth maker make sure that you click the subscribe button and make sure you click the bell all right so that you get the notification now on the other thing is that uh, uh the next batch uh, which is intake february 2023 is uh, currently already officially open uh, the information is already out you you may be able to find uh, those info the description uh, in the in this in this video all right make sure you click to those description it will bring you to the next video uh, and then you will be able to see the detail or you can just go to my youtube channel and search for that information uh, on the on the february intake all right so with that uh, i would like to say thank you so much uh, god bless uh, each and every one of you i will definitely uh keep you updated with the rest of the information all right so uh god bless you all take care